What is up everybody, it's the Anime Watcher here and for today we're going to be continuing where we left off in Blue Archive's main story, Volume F Chapter 3. Now, the last episode was a huge cliffhanger. Um, Shiroko Terror appeared right in front of us and that's where Chapter 2 ended. So, I'm pretty much excited to see how that will unfold. Are there going to be students around to protect us? Is Shiroko Terror just gonna shoot us right there or is she, ju is she just gonna straight up take us and she's just gonna go somewhere else or she could probably lead us to where you know the original this shirko is this cute little fellow right here so without further ado i'm just filled with questions and i hope oh pretty much we're good it's uh, pretty much what i'm thinking they'll probably be solved in this chapter so i'll be pretty excited about that so i've got nothing else to say so other than that let's just jump right into the gameplay shall we Okay, she does not want my head patch anymore. Okay. <laughs> she wants to start the story too. Alright. Without a doubt, let's go right into it, shall we? There it is. The Ark of Atrahasis Conquest. That sounds so cool though. That sounds really cool. The Ark. Oh wait, is that the Ark? Um, Black Suit and the others were talking about then? Rolls. I'm guessing that's hinted towards us, right? Rolls. Our role is to like lead the students, I guess. We should be close to the destination, Nia said. President, Sukuyo, I've noticed that the number of monsters have been decreasing for a while, right? Hmm? Come to think of it, it does seem that way. Y yes, yes. The frequency of encountering enemies has decreased since we entered the Great Snowfield. Uh oh. What, what was that sound? Oh, President, the sky is strange. Look at that. Wait! What's happening? I thought the sky was already cleared. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. The sky. It turned back to normal. Yes! My lord succeeded! Was there any doubt? Was there any doubt? D you think so? Shali Sensei did it! Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! Enemies showed up as soon as they started celebrating. No, no, it's just the sound of gunshots. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Holy! I guess it wasn't the enemy. Who is this? Oh my god, I love her design! Oh my god, I love... I love you guys. This character has probably been out, and you guys never told me about her existence. Oh my god! She looks so pretty! God damn! Oh my god! Yo, she reminds me so much of an um, a young version of uh, Echidna from ReZero or a teen, teen version of Emilia, I guess, from ReZero. God damn, she looks so cool! Oh my god! Okay. I appreciate you guys didn't tell me about her existence. Oh my god, this was a nice surprise. Who is she? I'm pretty sure we're gonna know her identity, but still, she looks so cute. Uh, you attacked me! You think an apology will be- Huh? Who, who are you? My question to you, what are Hyakiyako students doing in these remote fields? We, we, we're traveling to the Twilight Temple. We're trying to find the president of Hyakayoran. Yes, Shale Sensei. They asked us to. Is that so? She looks so cute. Holy. Oh, I know where I've seen that before. P president? I thought your uniform looked familiar. It must be the Hyakayo. Oh, wait, she's the one they were looking for? God, she looks so pretty. The blue Hayori really, really fits her white hair so much. It, it really complements that a lot, and I love that. Then, are you... I, I don't think so. Although I don't remember fully, Ayame, the Hyakayoran president, wasn't so cold. She was more like a fancy socialite. Oh, but the vice president was kind of like her. The vice president? Uh, are you the vice president of Yakayoran? No. 
Eh? You're not? That's right. You have the wrong person. She looks so cool. I really love her design. It looks so simple. But I can't explain it. She just looks so complex. And I really love her character design. Holy. I am definitely pulling for her when she comes out. Well, if she ever comes out. Seiya hasn't even come out as a playable character yet. So, um, yeah. It's gonna be a while. Unless, unless, next on a new star, pull some strings here and there, and then they release her and Seiya at the same time, and also Kisaki, so who knows? No way, don't lie to us. I know that's a Hyakayoran outfit. Why are you wearing it then? This is cosplay. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to love her character even more. I see that. Izuna, don't fall for it. That's too much of a coincidence. Well, coincidences like this aren't impossible. Determined cosplayers will go anywhere, whether it's the Great Snowfield or Hyakuyako, the Grand Desert of Abydos or the Ocean of Odyssey, for the sake of getting that perfect picture. W Whoa, how cool! The spirit of a true cosplayer! Oh, <laughs> I love how they're actually buying it. Th that's amazing! I mean, I guess you're right. But if that's true, where's your camera? You don't have any equipment. That's... I don't require such material representations of my cosplay. I am capturing the precious memories of my... <laughs> oh my god, I need to know her name. Holy, she looks so cute. And I love her personality already. I love how she's still trying to cover that she's not the vice president. What's the point of coming all the way out here to cosplay and take pictures with an imaginary heart camera? Or... Are you just trying to trick us? Uh, oh my god, I love her even more. But President, I'm sure her situation can be explained. I, I didn't mean to offend her, but it just seems strange that she has no camera. I guess I could lend her one if she wants. Oh my god, I just... No! <laughs> you haven't told me your name yet! Uh, are you alright? I think it's fine to not take pictures. You feel good just by wearing a nice cosplay, and that's okay. Leave me alone. Whoa, s sorry. No, they never told me your name. Oh, wait, we're not over yet. Let's go. Nagus, whoa. Is this a coincidence now? Is she Nagisa's sister? <laughs> oh my god, she exactly looks like her. Well, minus the wing. She doesn't have the wings part. <laughs> Oh my god, she actually looks a little bit like her. Well, she has that Kudere, um, she has that Kudere vibe with her, so she's the total opposite of Nagisa. What the hell? Oh my god, no wonder I fell for her so quickly. Holy shit, she reminds me of Nagisa, okay. I'm Goryu Nagisa, the vice president of Yaka Yoren. I've come here alone due to a situation. So you are from Yakayoran. I believe I understand your situation, Ninjutsu Research Club. But it's futile, so please return from where you came. She looks so elegant, I swear. But, but why? The Twilight Temple was... What? It is likely buried many, many feet under the snow somewhere in these fields. Huh? Th that's... Is there another way to find the precedent? No. So again... Return and do not tell anyone of your meeting with me here But but we can't just go back empty-handed. We came here at Shale's request Shale, yes, I've heard of Shale. She looks so cute. Oh my god. If that is the case then Deliver this to your sensei an old scroll Do not ask. I do not know its contents President Ayame wished for Shale sensei to have it. There was a message for them enclosed so her name's President Ayame, okay. Well, who told you that? How did they know we'd come here? Kuzuno? It is your responsibility now, then. Was it Kuzunoha perhaps that told her? She's gone. What does it say? C can we read it? Why not? It's not sealed or anything. Let's see. Okay, are they gonna tell me what they read? What's happening? Oh, we're okay. We're, we're going back here. What's gonna happen here actually? Oh my god. She looks so hot. Oh! 
Oh god damn! Look at the look at the face she's making right now. She is uh, despair. She's in despair. I'm impressed. You've clawed your way this far, Sensei. But the future is set. You cannot change what is written in fate. Kivotos will fall. Shirko, wait! You. You're incorrect, Sensei. If you're not, how do you know who I am? You can delude yourself into believing I've fallen under the control of the Chroma, but you would be incorrect. This is me. This is my will. I was granted the role of leading this world into its prede predetermined future, and the Chroma is just one of many methods available to me. So there's more! Okay, there's more than the Chroma! That is interesting. I am not under the control of the Chroma. The Chroma is under mine. I really am curious how though. How did that happen actually? I really am curious. I really hope one day we would get to learn more about this version of Shirko. My role is to guide all life to beyond. This world's fate was sealed when Sunaokami Shirko came to exist within it. She looks so cute. Shirko looks absolutely so cute. The world, the universe revolves upon unbreakable laws. The future is predetermined. You struggle in vain. I must ask you to leave Kivotos without protest, without struggle. I do not wish to harm you. Not all futures are predetermined. If you leave, the future where I must shoot Shale Sensei will not come to pass. Oh, so she's aware of that. Okay. This was the role granted to me. To lead you to this place and guide you to your final moments. Oh my god, holy shit! Oh my god, that was exactly the same! Well, the way they were looking at us, yeah. Holy! You must understand, I will not hesitate to pull the trigger when the time for me to fulfill my role at last arrives. Therefore, this is crazy! That was so perfect, who's gonna arrive? Oh, uh, okay, it's Rin. Sensei, we have a problem! The, er the energy reactions are happening all over Kivotos again. Ah! Wait, Rin has a gun? Oh, surely she has. You, you're Abydos? Did I just hear Rin shoot a gun? That's a once in a lifetime. Whoa! Who? Th there's an intruder! Reinforcements! No! Oh my god! No, why did it have to be Ayane? Is she gonna- No! This is so messed up! S sensei Sh- Shiro- Shiroko! Why- Why does she have that sad look in her eyes? Why? I need an explanation! What was that about? Since they don't, you can't follow her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you seriously that reckless? Let's go. We are bringing her with us. We are turning her to the la holy that looks crazy. What in the hell are those? What is that? What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that a black Aruna? What the hell was that? What is this place? Whoa. Things are getting crazy! Holy shit! Are you the guide of Chroma? That looks sick though. That's the same thing that took Shiroko though. Oh wait, it pushed us back out. What the hell? So wait, oh my god, I wish I could replay that. What the hell? So there was a black Aruna. There was a scene with Shiroko... Shirko having a wound on her left or no right eye was that from the past or from the future? And there was a floating base. Oh my god, chapter 3 starts so good. Holy. Ah, it just spit you back out. Are you still in one piece? T Sensei, what's going on with Shirko? The connecting passage disappeared. Shiroko! Holy! Chapter 1! No, chapter 3, I mean. Chapter 3, episode 1! 
Holy! I am just... Wow, that was a lot! <laughs> Holy, okay! Oh my god, it's it's getting more hype. Oh my god. Oh, it's Maestro? Oh, I, I know that sound effect. That was Maestro. Are you alright, Maestro? Whoa! Well, one of them is wrecked. What happened? No! No need to explain. My body has changed! And I'm still adjusting. <laughs> My apologies. We were in a hurry, so I had to take what we had in hand. Is it uncomfortable? How do you feel? It's inconsequential. Physical bodies are expendable! On a more pressing note, the chroma attacked! Yes, Frenapatis, the guide of chroma, attacked earlier than expected. Wait, where's the other one? Where's a Francis? He was aware of our location. Weakness! And chose the optimal time to attack. The guide has been one step ahead of us from the very beginning! We disgrace Gimatria's name. <laughs> we were never its priority to begin with. It only attacked us as a means to an end. To secure a tool to fulfill its purpose. The tool to destroy Kivodos. Yes, by moving the god of the underworld, changed by its terror, it robbed Gematria by all of its secrets. That this was so cool. I love this. I love these shots. It's so cool. The Mimesis, Commun Communio Sanctorum, Decagrammaton, the Nameless Gods, the Library of Lore. And even the Ark of Atrahasis, Atrahasis that we were unable to obtain. Now that the Guide of Chroma secured the Terror of Anubis, Kivodos is no longer a welcome place for our activities. To the Terror of Anubis is Shiroko, right? The other Shiroko? The adult one? The, the mommy one? Okay, so the Chroma will devour everything and paint it with its colors of madness. That is probably the essence of the Chroma. Blue Archive Lore is so good. Jesus Christ. I really feel bad for those people who give up on the game early on. Oh my god. This is such an amazing story. Even if we pursue our values here, our achievements will only lead to more tools for Frenapetis. Then, will Kivodos come to an end? Perhaps not. Ray Sensei remains. They will fight their bitter fight alongside the students until the end. I see! I would expect nothing less. But for how long will they fight? How long will Sensei be able to take a stand against the incomprehensible Chroma? <laughs> Even now that everything is ruined, there are still fascinating phenomena to be observed. How exhilarating! Gimachira will temporarily be disbanded here. We'll assemble again when the time is right. You can do as you please until then, Maestro. I understand. What of Golconde? What happened to him? He will be fine, seeing as Decalo Decalcomania, the main body, cannot die. But Francis has overtaken their consciousness. Francis has returned? He's even more dangerous than Beatrice in some ways! Oh, Miss Golconde. Black suit. What will you pursue from here? <laughs> oh, I really wanted to know though. I need a report. What's the situation? Um, how do I put this? Masses with ultra high energy have been observed all over Kivodos. But the sky isn't red anymore though. Why? We defeated all the Sanctum, so... Wait, what? Is it because... Chiroko is still there, like the adult one and that thing. Again? No way, it's again. How is this possible? Ah. Wait, what? Hmm. That means. 
Yes, that's all I know, foreclosure task force. Wait, what? Wait, what did she... So, Shirko lost herself after coming into contact with the Chroma. Wait, so that was Shirko? I thought that was a different entity. Wait, what? And Shirko was involved in all of the incidents? Shirko, how could this happen? What happened to Shirko? Why is she trying to destroy the world? What was the expression I saw on her face? Exactly! I was so curious about that. I really want to know! Oh my god! Chapter 3 starts off with such an amazing start. I, I don't know. I heard about the Chroma, but I don't know how she could become a completely different person. I don't know why this happened or what it all means. I just know. I couldn't tell what she was thinking at all. Her reaction gave off a vibe of like looking at a dead person. What happened? Or maybe since what they're implying here that that Shiroko is the same Shiroko we have been following since the beginning. So did she had that sad look on her face because she is now destroying Kivodos? Oh my god, chapter 3 is so good. Ayane. No matter what's happening to Shirko, it's not her fault. We have to consider that she was caught in a power that she could not overcome by her own efforts. So if I were to compare this to Fate, I this is the second time I have compared <laughs> Blue Archive story to Fate. So in Babylonia chapter, right, we have a favorite beloved servant named Ushiwakamaru, right? She fights Gorgon for a while. She, well, she gets a cool fight. Cool, noble, fantastic moment. It was pointless in the end. She gets captured by the enemies. She gets corrupted and now she is working for the bad side. So this is what I'm getting at from this situation, right? If that Shiroko, if... Terror Shiroko, if Terror is the same Shiroko we have been following since the beginning of Volume 1, then that's practically the same thing with Ushiwakamaru and the Dark Ushiwakamaru, then we have Shiroko, and then we have Shiroko Terror. Again, this is the second time I'm referencing Fate. I just, I, I just really love stories like these because it's so interesting. Because when a good character turns bad, Sometimes, if done right, it's going to be heartbreaking. And I always love that. And from Blue Archive storytelling, from the flow, the direction, I am sold and I am invested in it 100%. And of course, I am devastated that we now have to fight Chiroko. I do not want that at all. But I'm pretty sure we could find a way. But... That this could also mislead us because maybe that wasn't the actual Shiroko. Maybe that's a different Shiroko from a different universe, right? So until we get a confirmation that Terror is literally our Shiroko, then for now I'm just gonna assume that those two are different people. Right, INA, it sounds like the Chroma is the bad one here, not Shiroko. Is there a way Shiroko can return to how she was? No, Seiya, there has to be. We're working on it, but as of now, we have no solution. It, that's... I was the only one who encountered the Chroma in the past and made it back safely. Oh my god, so if Seiya got corrupted by the Chroma, what would have happened? I, what would have happened, actually? Sensei sent someone to the Yakiyako district to find a way to fight against the Chroma. Sensei? We're also analyzing data on the Chroma with the Sisterhood. We will do all we can to find a way to bring Suna Okami Shiroko back to her senses. Oh my god, no, I don't believe it. What does it say, President? C can we take a look? Oh, we come back to here, okay. Let's see. Oh my god, don't say it's empty. Don't you dare say it's empty. Ray Sensei. Oh, it's Kuzuna! There's no... No, no, there has to be, right? There's no way to restore an existence that's been reversed by the Chroma to its original state. No, there has to be a way. 
Surely there has to be a way. Why is there not a way? There always has to have a start. Every, fin every finish has to have a start. It's a natural rule of this world, just as how the dead cannot be brought back to life. Well, mm, the dead? Are there any dead students that come back to life? Well, the St. Justina Council don't count. God damn it. So, no, there has to be a way. Surely, there has to be a way. Okay, this is just going to be misleading us. I know for a fact there is a way to revert back Shiriko. We just, they're just trying to hide it for now. But I'm sure we'll find the right answers as we continue on the story. There has to be a way. This is just for now. D does that mean that the Sanctums will appear again? That would make everything we did until now mean nothing. The situation isn't exactly the same. Oh, right. The locations of the energy are a bit different this time. The Red Winter Frozen Sea, the area beneath the abandoned amusement park, Gehenna's Hinnom Volcano, and Trinity's Underground Catacombs. Oh, new areas. Ayumu, how long did it take for the Sanctums to appear after the phenomenon first occurred last time? Oh, about 24 hours. Then that might be the amount of time we have. No, it could be sooner this time. The energy is about 38% higher on average than last time. Huh? You're right. Rin, did you memorize all those numbers? Jeez. That means we have less than a day. Right now, each district is managing its situation post-assault. The sanctums are gone, but there are still enemies all throughout Kivotos. It would be impossible to prepare for a new sanctum assault regardless. Everyone pushed themselves to the limit for the first round with no rest. Our only option is to stop the Sanctums before they even appear. But how? The opponent is invisible. It doesn't even exist right now. All we can detect is the energy, but it shows up out of nowhere. Is there a way to stop this? Is there a solution? Okay, how are we actually going to solve this? This is actually intriguing me now. I'm responsible for the way things turned out. I'm sorry, all of you. What? S Sensei, what do you mean? I had a vague idea that something was coming. We did? Oh. I knew that Shiriko was in danger. The prophecy of Kivotus' destruction. I even received a direct warning about the enemy we had to face. Oh, from Volume 3, right? I had all the pieces right in front of me. Oh, we never told anyone about Shiroko. I was too complacent. I thought I could handle anything that happened. You're wrong, Sensei. You did your utmost with what you had, as you always do. Rin? You knew the prophecy had no basis, but you came to me with your concerns regardless. You took every precaution you needed to. It was thanks to your warning we were able to successfully carry out the assaults on the, fa on the false sanctums. The rest, I shoulder blame for the rest. If I were more capable, if I were, if I were the general student council president, instead of just me, Rin. I, all three options are really good though. There, there. Let's take a deep breath, Sensei. Huh? Hoshino. This is much more simple than everyone's making it out to be. Shiriko's acting weird. Then we'll drag her here and teach her a lesson. And we'll take care of the rest later. Ho Hoshino, what are you... Mm, I also had a bad feeling that Shiriko might somehow find herself on a dangerous path. Maybe I always have. So if everything happening is somehow centered around our missing Shiriko, well, it'd be silly of me to say I'm not worried. We don't have a lot of options. But this is a completely different story. The Chroma is to blame, not Shiriko or Sensei. 
It's no one's fault. It's not Chirko we need to fight. It's the Chroma, baby. That's my girl. Besides, if we don't solve the situation right now, there might be more victims like Shiroko and Kivodos. That is true, actually. So it's easy. We annihilate the Chroma. We, along with Sensei, have to prevent more victims like Shiroko. That's what matters most. If Shiroko tries to stop us, we'll just catch her. Sensei and the others will figure out how to bring her back to herself. Hoshino. It's not like Shiroko's a wild animal to be captured. Well, I guess there are some similarities. <laughs> That's right. I'm an expert on capturing wild shear. Oh, it's so cute. This isn't my first time. Right, Nanami? Yeah, actually, you've only done it once, but you're the only one who's done it in Kivodos. <laughs> so, Sensei, you can just say everything's gonna work out fine like you usually do. Thank you, Hoshino. Oh, both options are so good too, but I wanna thank her. Let's get Shiroko back no matter what it takes. <laughs> that sounds more like you, Sensei. Right! Shiroko was always kind of weird, so it's not that big of a deal if she became a little weirder. Capturing Shiroko sounds like fun! Yeah, right. This wild version of Shiroko is ferocious, so we'll just have to leash her up and- Oh my god. And drag her around with us. <laughs> okay, I got it. Wear your mask! Wear the masks! Wear the mask! He for me better join in as well. She has to. Faust needs to join in. I'll find a way to address the problem and find Shiroko. Come on, he for me join in as well. The masked Mizugi gang isn't gonna complete without her. I'll be counting on you guys. Hmm. What if Momoka? The energy we detected all over Kivotos. Can you detect its flow? It's flow. When we attacked the last sanctum, we saw the energies of all the sanctums converging together. Oh, that's right. Assuming that the energy is something fluid that can be transferred from one place to another. Hmm, I get what you're saying. I'll try. Hmm. I think what you said is right. Each code. <laughs> Each coordinate has a common energy flow. Momoka, what if we trace back the flow? I know, give me a second. Oh, okay. I think I found it. Momoka! All of the energy is leading to one place. It's the enemy's origin. Oh, energy's origin. In other words, that place is the epicenter generating the false sanctums. Oh, so we have to attack the main base now. Okay. Because in chapter 2, we had to fight the outposts per se. Like the six false sanctums. Then we had to fight the main one, which was supplying each and every sanctum. So in chapter 3, we're gonna have to strike the main base while it's still... You know, giving out its energies to the to the other sanctums. Okay, that's smart. Strike while the iron is hot. It's above the sky. The altitude is 75,000 meters above Givotos. Huh? Isn't that higher than the stratosphere? Above the skies. That's right. I'm detecting more energy there. That means that place is behind all these incidents. Who would have thought I would be hiding above the sky? Then whoever is leading Kivotos to destruction must be up there. It's that thing, right? Frenipates, the guide of Chroma. This is so cool. I am loving chapter 3 so far. And that is going to be it for this video everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. So please leave a like and subscribe or hit the bell notification below so you'd be notified of when I would upload my next video. I try to upload as much as I can so I would really appreciate that a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. See ya!